What's up everyone? Finally, the flight controller board is here. It got manufactured. Uh, it took like almost five months to find the manufacturer to, uh, you know, going through all the exceptions and accepting what the differences are and have it manufactured and send it to a different assembler. And they procured the parts and did the assembly process. Uh, it almost took like five months. And the board is finally here for me to do the testing. And it's on a, the board, the flight controller is on a two panel, uh, on a single panel, two boards. So you, what you see here is like two boards. You, uh, there's a mouse by tabs, which you can break it easily and use the boards uh, one after the other based on testing. Yeah, like the board is finally here. Uh, we can move forward much faster. We can do a lot of development. We can like uh, work on the firmware. And I'm also working on the uh, the drone platform, what where these uh, boards are going to be. And we'll look into that shortly. Uh, before we go on, uh, I just wanted to give a closer look after the uh, tabs are broken. And the final flight controller board is going to be here. And you can see one of the assembly with our carrier board and the flight controller is here. I'll like show uh, open up and like show you what exactly is inside and how it connects. And uh, this is the carrier board, which is like available in the market. So you can see that uh, it's sort of like the uh, flight controller is backwards compatible. So you can, uh, it has like the same connector with the same dimensions. So it like connects and snaps off. So you can like use just the flight controller on your old carrier boards. Or if you want to let like, go with the complete package, we also have that. So let's look into the drone platforms and uh, uh, like you know go through uh, the different drone platforms I have I'm not sure I haven't decided like what to go with so I just wanted to show you guys uh, the flight controller what I have received like uh, I just received like uh, a day ago so I want to like show you around the stuff and uh, probably in the next couple of weeks you will see a lot more progress of uh, the boards on the drone the first, I think you guys have already seen our drone prototype frame. Uh, the thing is, like, we are not going to use this for uh, the combination of the carrier board and the flight controller or the autopilot. Let's say uh, the autopilot here. So the reason is because uh, when you're having like two different prototypes, because the frame is a prototype and the board is also a prototype, we don't want to like have multiple. Uh, unknown parameters in the system and if the drone crashes probably it will it's inevitable in a process of uh, developing a drone or like assembling a drone um, we don't want to like have an un two or like multiple unknowns uh, in, in a way like you won't be able to troubleshoot what the problem was so if a drone crashes we won't be knowing like is it because of the vibrations of the motor or the flight controller is the problem so we want a platform which is like already uh, tried and tested so we'll not be using this platform here okay. all right so we'll like keep this aside we'll test the uh, carrier board on other drone platforms the other drone platforms i have is a uh, six-year-old drone frame i don't know whether it would fit in the frame but you can get an idea of how big the drone is this is like really big drone uh, not really that big but yeah it's quite uh, quite bigger so i have like all these uh, the tech in this is really like a six year old tech uh, it has like a individual ESCs we saw in our previous video about the drones, right? So this is a quad quarter hedge frame design. So it has like individual ESCs and a beefier motor. These are like really big motors and it can swing like 12 inch props. And uh, I think I have the video. I can like post it here. You can check it out. So you saw like how big the uh, propellers are and it's really, really uh, sort of like dangerous to test with. 
Uh, I did plug plug in the motors. As you can see here, it's all like connected uh, to the ESC, and I also like plugged in a battery to find out like whether there's like any burn issues or you know like brownouts or something. It did work. You can check it out. You can hear the motor beeps. I'm not sure if it can be picked up in the mic. All right, so it does work. So the ESCs, motors, everything's good. But I may not be using it uh, if in case like the drone frame, what I'm going to show you, if that doesn't work, I think I'll probably go with this as a backup. So I'll just keep this uh, ready, like it's all like connected. So I'll keep this as a backup frame. The other drone frame I have is something of this sort. This is sort of like a 240, 250 mm size drone. It's an FPV drone, as you can see. Uh, I have like all the FPV stuff here. There's a VTX, uh, the analog camera, the flight controller, ESCs, and the motor. This is a 4S uh, drone frame. Uh, I had like as a beginner uh, FPV freestyle drone frame. I haven't used this for a long time. Uh, if you have seen like the background of my other videos, like you would have seen this as a display. So I haven't been using this drone for a long time. Probably, I uh, this is also another drone frame backup. I'll be salvaging the ESCs from this. I don't want to use the individual ESCs, which are like really old. So I'll go with like four in one ESC here and probably use these motors because I have like two other motors as a spare. So if one of the motor crashes and like, you know, gets burned or something, I'll have uh, extra motors or spare motors for these four setup. I may not be using this frame again, but I'll be salvaging the parts from this to build into the drone frame, which I'm going to show now. Boom. So this is the drone frame I'm planning to use. Um, I have like uh, the vibration dampening for the Pixar. This is from the first drone frame what I showed you. So this can be mounted over here. Uh, I do have like a bolt or like the screw mounting hole aligned here so I can do that. But if I do it, there's like uh, two of these bolts blocking the path. So I may like I had to shift in the front or in the back. Uh, I think it should be okay, like I can put a double-sided tape and stick it and have the ESCs over here and do wire routing for the motors. I may have to solder a few extra wires from here to the ESCs. I do have like some extra wires, so it would be okay. So once this is done, I'll be having the uh, flight controller. I'll be testing both of these because uh, uh, like we know the design has been tested but these boards are being manufactured in India, so I want to like treat this as a prototype itself. So I'll be like testing the flight controllers, what I have here with the carrier board, and like put it on this drone, as well as a um, completely new carrier board. So in that way, uh, if this system were, fails, I wouldn't be knowing like is it the carrier board or the flight controller again. So we'll have an idea. This is like a tried and tested product. And our flight controller is totally different. So if this works and this doesn't, so we know the carrier board is a problem. So you get the idea of how the testing goes here. So I'll also be adding a double-sided tape here and plug it in. So in this way, uh, you can see like in our design, if we have like different sensors, everything connected, we'll be having all the cables from the sides. In that way, there's like not much stress when you connect all the different sensors, like, you know, GPS units um, or like, you know, optical flow sensor, which like gets routed to the bottom of the frame. I can show you I have the sensor right here. So this is like a distance sensor, not an optical flow sensor. Uh, but both like optical flow sensor and distance sensor goes at the bottom of the frame. So usually it gets plugged in at the top. I can also mount it with that and show you. Um, when you plug in and do the mounting here, you can see uh, how free the uh, uh, wires are here, right? Like it's like there's like not much stress. So this like plugs in quite nice. But in the 
older design of the carry boards. Let's connect to the I2C here. And when you attach either this way or it goes this way, right? So you can see uh, most of the time, like the wires get stressed out here. Uh, if this, if it goes this way, the black wire gets stressed out. If the other way, the red wire gets stressed out. Either way, that's not a good thing. And you'll have like a lot of other wires dangling around, which to be on the safer side, like not a good option. So we'll like um, show you like how it gets mounted here. Let me get a tweezer. Uh, I haven't bolted these. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. Like, yeah, right here, there are like bolts, bolt holes where you can like insert bolts to like fuse these two parts. I had to print this overnight uh, so that I can show you guys the actual prototype because the previous part, what I had printed, uh, let me show you. Actually, like when I was trying to assemble it, broke like uh, because it's being the wall thickness is very thin here. Uh, you can see this wall here and this one it, it just like snaps off see it just broke like yesterday so I had to print uh, another one overnight with a PDG so that's why you can see the black one instead of the blue so let me take this out and there you go you see the flight controller inside the carrier board and also bolted these carrier boards to test uh, it fits in but uh, a, Already observed this when I got the carrier board, but I haven't printed the top case yet. I modified the bottom, but the top case has like a slight gap. That's because uh, there was some sort of tolerance between the connector uh, height in the CAD file to the actual uh, part. So most of the connectors are actually uh, pushing or like the top plate is like sitting on these connectors, but it's not extending to the bottom of the uh, board so there's like a, a 0.5 to 1 mm gap that's what you're seeing here so i'll like do the correction on the design and probably in the next few videos you should be able to see that all right so that's it for the prototypes you know if you have like any questions or suggestions on the design if you want to like do something different please leave your comments down below uh, let me know what you think about the flight controller design uh, we'll like do a technical specification of the flight controller and the carry board in the future. We'll like um, look into what sort of features it has, like all the technical uh, information on that. All right, thanks for watching.